good evening to one and all present here i nishad pawar on behalf of the placement cell of alkesh dinesh modi institute welcome you all in today's session which is going to be on the topic job hunting skills before we begin the session i would like to request kavita ma'am to speak a few words ma'am over to you thank you uh, nishad good evening and namaste everyone uh, i'm very elated and very thrilled which i told uh, coach spark also that in my 13 years of career this is for the first time when i am organizing such session and i have met sir on linkedin and i just browsed what he is doing and how he is motivating students and helping students to understand the current uh, job market and the challenges which are uh, available over there and how you need to create your own uh, niche market for your own capabilities and strength to be placed into the market i don't want to go and make you the detailed understanding that how current percentage of placement is talking about in which industry and how much number of students are employed etc but we all understand that how current uh, markets are being shaped up and simultaneously how the placement for mba institute is uh, very challenging so in such a scenario it is very very important for all of us including myself Uh, to find out that what should be the job hunting skills in the year 2021 so uh, i think uh, coach ashwak has already taken the note of it and he has hit on the nail while describing the title of our today's session so without taking much time and wasting more time uh, we would like to hear from you uh, sir very soon and on behalf of my institute i once again welcome you on digital uh, uh, campus of alkes dinesh modi institute for financial and management studies which is a department of university of mumbai and thank you for joining us from bangalore over to you nishal Nishal, you are not audible. Yeah. Am I audible now? Yes. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Moving on, I would like to introduce you to our guest speaker of the session, Mr. Mohammad Ashfaq. Currently, sir is the director at Descent Training Academy. Before that, sir was the lead coordinator at ACS Global Quality Services India Private Limited. His diverse area of expertise comprises of training and development, public speaking, coaching, career strategist. Apart from this, he is also an author as well as an engineer. He is also a motivational speaker and a job hunt expert by profession and an entrepreneur from heart. Sir have trained over fifty thousand students in last seven years as well. and as well known motivational speaker and a career coach and also he has been invited to different colleges across india to train students on how to crack interviews and get campus placements it is a pleasure to have you with us sir i am sure with all are excited to hear more from mr mohammad ashfaq so without further ado i request sir to guide us through this session over to you sir thank you very much uh, nishad and miss kavita it was a brilliant introduction i loved it okay Uh, so before we get started, I could see a lot of you guys here. There are almost almost fifty five or sixty people here. So, uh, like uh, you know, in a general, like a normal world, uh, I would be there in your college, and I'll be standing on the auditorium, and you'll be in the you know the auditorium in the seating area. But right now, because of pandemic, this is the situation. So, uh, before I get started, I want everybody to turn on your cameras, please, uh, just for a couple of minutes. and then you can turn off the cameras uh, you know once i get, uh, start uh, the session okay so this gives me a lot of energy because i could see the real live uh, people here uh, or else i i'm just seeing blank screen okay so make sure you guys turn on the camera uh, that's uh, great samir good to have you here who else who else turn on your cameras everybody <clears throat> okay turn on your cameras okay i could see uh, rahul i could see tushar who else okay i could see uh dwiti i could see tejas aniket brilliant okay who else make sure let me see you let me see you guys where exactly like i'm in bangalore and you are in mumbai so let's have uh, the next one and a half hours uh 
to be totally crazy at the same time you're going to take away a lot of lot of things which you are supposed to take away this particular year okay uh, i could see shruti i could say see, uh, see pratik who else okay make it fast all right all right uh, so i'm so happy to see all of you guys here uh, let me just uh, you know take a screenshot of you guys uh, so just uh, give a, a, you know a small at least a little bit of smile here uh, so 1 2 3 All right so i just took a screenshot of you guys okay and uh, some of you were really you know having serious faces so uh, don't worry i'm not going to put it in uh, social media later uh, <clears throat> so i'll get started right now but before we get started let me tell you that wherever you are right now wherever you are whether you are in home outside anywhere i want you to uh, just give 60 minutes or 90 minutes of you know attention that's it okay you have literally uh, spent what 20 years or 22 years or 25 years in education till now right from the you know uh, kindergarten till now 25 22 years i don't know what your age is the average is i will consider it as 22 years and 22 years of education and in this 60 minutes i am going to tell you how to market yourself using your entire skills right from the childhood till now okay are you all excited are you all excited put it in the chat section are you all excited yes so uh, i want a lot of interaction in the chat section also uh, because yeah this gives me a lot of uh, energy so brilliant brilliant uh, so as i said before this session is going to change the entire game for you but right now wherever you are i want you to sit at a particular place take a pen take a sheet of paper or a book and whatever whatever you feel okay this is something very interesting make a note of it because that can change your game in terms of getting your job okay that's the first thing which i want to say for you and remember that you know as uh, uh, ma'am said here kavita ma'am that you know soft skills and all other skills are different but job hunting skills are completely different okay job hunting skills are basically uh, more like a marketing skills which i'm going to be sharing with you guys okay so i will get started right now so thank you very much for turning on your cameras i request you to turn off your cameras now because it's going to consume a lot of bandwidth uh, so right now i'll be starting my my screen here let me just uh, share my screen here and then i'll be sharing all of the stuff okay so just give me a moment let me start sharing my screen and in case if my screen is not visible or i'm not audible you can stop me in between because i will not be knowing so you, i could go on and on and on so make sure you guys you know uh, unmute yourself and speak to me okay uh so let me just uh, share the screen here okay uh so uh, is my ppt uh, visible now yes sir brilliant brilliant thank you very much so uh, job hunting skills 2021 remember uh, i have purposely mentioned 2021 why because every year these skills keep on changing okay it's not like ek bar syllabus bana diya and you know you got to uh, you know finish and implement it not like that it's not like that every year these skills change according to how the industry hr recruiting industry changes okay so the the onus is on you students on you guys that you adapt to uh, to these uh, you know uh, these uh, changes which the recruitment industry does okay that's the first important thing that's why 2021 i always mention this year these are the skills you need next year there might be some other platform there might be some other way of you know recruiting you guys so you never know okay so this year this is what we are looking for i'll just give a brief about my story here so that you guys understand where exactly i come from i'm from bangalore right now i'm speaking to you uh, guys from bangalore but i belong to a very small town in karnataka the place is called as uh, sandur okay it's a mining uh, area Uh, and my parents were not educated you know my parents are school dropouts and they had this dream for me that ashfaq should become an engineer okay 30 years before becoming an engineer was a sign of success okay just imagine 30 years before getting an engineering degree was a sign of success but uh, you know <clears throat> this is a picture here uh, so my mom was a, a, a very ambitious for me because as you know that my parents not educated uh, so they they gave me that ambition that, and finally I graduated from one of the top engineering colleges in Karnataka in Bangalore that is MS Ramayana Institute of Technology as a mechanical engineer but uh, you know 
Uh, I didn't know that, you know, uh, getting a degree, uh, I was always having this perception, okay, getting a degree is something, you know, uh, being successful. But let me tell you that the ultimate challenge, the ultimate uh, success is when you go ahead and, you know, uh, crack the campus placements or get the job of yours. That's the success. So this is a farewell here. I was the top three in the class. And uh, I was going through a lot of, lot of, uh, you know, campus placements. And I used to get rejected most of the time. I was not able to understand. I was not prepared for it, maybe. Uh, sometimes I used to get uh, rejected in the aptitude, return aptitude test. Sometimes in the technical interview, sometimes in the GD, sometimes in the, you know, I used to go till the last. And finally, in the HR interview, no. Okay. So that's why, uh, you know, I'm here to help you guys to make sure that you guys don't face similar situation. Remember, the more rejections you get, the more opportunities you lose. I'll repeat this. The more you don't take it seriously, the more rejections you uh, get in the campus interviews, the more the opportunities which you lose. Okay. So I'm here to tell you that do not lose these opportunities because these opportunities are never going to come back to you. Remember this. Okay. So uh, fast forward. Uh, I worked in different industries for three years and I started my own training company. So this was my first training session way back in the year 2013 and I've come a long way. The reason I have come a long way is, see, uh, being a career coach or a you know, motivational speaker and author, there's no particular degree to go ahead and become a motivational speaker. You have to carve, you have to build your own career out of this. Okay, uh, so that's why I'm the person here for you guys. Uh, to tell you that, you know, you can build uh, any career, however, uh, you know, any possibilities. There are numerous possibilities here for you to figure, uh, figure a way out for yourself. Not just like, you know, okay, I'll get a job and then I'll work. You can build something around it. Okay. So that's the first thing which I wanted to share here. And uh, I do different courses and all. The reason why I was able to grow fast is because of this, because of my mentors. I'll repeat this because of my mentors and my first mentor was Vincent Wong. He's from UK, London. So I went to London. I got trained under him. Next is, uh, you know, my mentor, uh, Dr. John D. Martini. If you have seen this documentary, uh, The Secret, okay, he's one of the speakers there. Next is uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy. He's the Infosys chairman. I had the privilege to work under him to build certain career programs for Karnataka state. And next is Blair Singer. He is one of the world's best trainers. Okay, so the, because of these mentors, I could grow my career fast. And remember that motivational speakers and all these things, uh, usually uh, people are above like 45, 50 years old. Okay, and here I am, I've grown fast and I'm just 30 years old right now and I have way uh, too much to go. Okay, I have a very good runway right now. Okay, the reason why I'm telling all this is it's not because to show off anything, but I'm telling you how I built my career so that you can, you know, get inspired for the, uh, from this. Okay. Next is I'm also an author of the book called as You Are Hired. Okay. This is the, you know, one uh, sentence which you want to listen to when you're coming out of the interview room, right? You are hired. Okay. Uh, so that's why I've written a book and this book, uh, I've after, only after spending seven years in the industry, I launched this book. Okay, it's in uh, Amazon and all that, Notion Press and all that. Okay, next, I'll just show one video and after that, I'll be jumping straight into the job hunting skills. Okay, uh, just have a look at my career progress here. Sir, we are unable to hear the voice. Uh, you're not uh, able to hear the music or how is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me just see how I can do that. Uh, okay. So, even now? Students, we have lots of students here. They suggest me whenever I am facing any technical glitches. So anybody has any suggestion? How can we get the music? Music 
of this video? It, okay. So you'll have uh, to share the tab. I have to share the tab, is it? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, this is within the PPT. This is within the PPT. Okay, uh, so it's okay. Uh, like uh, even now, can you see the uh, thing and the music is there? No, sir, it's not there. All right, no problem. Uh, I'll share you. Uh, I'll share this video to guys uh, later. Okay, I just wanted. Can to you run, sir? I think I was able to hear. Can you just run in the middle? Okay. Now it's no, no. Okay. No, sir. No music, right? No problem, no problem. So we'll uh, skip this video for now, and uh, you can see this video maybe in my YouTube or anywhere. Okay, I'll share you the link. Now, before uh, we move on to the next uh, thing, let me tell you this. Okay, this job hunting skills uh, in this uh, time I have, I'll be giving you three secrets. I'll repeat this. I'll be giving you three important secrets in job hunting skills for you to go ahead and get your dream job. Okay, and uh, here, uh, go to the uh, next thing here so the first secret is something called as a current market reality okay i'll be talking about uh you know what are the advantages and disadvantages for you guys to graduate this particular year or the coming year okay so this is the current market reality from students point of view and from the recruiters point of view remember you need to have both the angles from your point of view and from their point of view it's not like you just go and get the job they have to pick you up that's very important Okay, uh, so uh, I'll be just taking a survey after some time. Okay, and before uh, that, let me just share with you. Uh, can you tell me, can you just tell me that, you know, uh, how many number of students do you think every year, uh, you know, uh, become graduates in India? What is the number of uh, students graduating every year? Can you put in the chat section? What is the uh, number of students who are graduating every year? Okay, let me just uh, go to the chat section here. Uh, let me just, uh, where is it? Okay, uh, so can you tell me the number of students? Okay, I'm a back. I'm an audible. I think there was some network uh, fluctuation. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So, uh, can you put in a chat section, everybody? What do you think is the number of people? Guru is saying three crores. Uh, Dwiti is saying five lakhs approximately. I want, like, you know, what is the number of students graduating every year in India? Give me, everybody, give me uh, in the, a number, a specific number. Take a guess and put it in the chat section. What do you think? How many number? What is the number here? What is the number? Okay, uh, Jigar is saying 10 lakhs. All right, who uh, who else, who else? Uh, make sure Shruti is saying two crores. Okay, okay. All right, so let me tell you that, you know, every year, okay, uh, all right, uh, so three crores, uh, Kavita is saying three crores. All right, so every year, uh, the number of potential graduates who graduate from India is this. Okay, so let me just uh, go to the screen here. Let me skip all this. Okay. All right. So according to the All India Survey on Higher Education, the number of students graduating every year, the potential number of students graduating every year is this much. Okay, that is three crore. Uh, 3.66 crores okay so these are the number of students who are graduating every year in india okay can you just imagine that if you don't get placed in uh, within the campus okay the moment you go out of the campus the moment you go out of the college can you just imagine the number of students or the competition which you will be facing
to get that job of yours. Okay, so that's why you got to make sure that you take the campus placements very, very seriously. That's the first input you got to make here. Okay, so these are the number of potential graduates every year. Just imagine last year students who are graduated, some of them might have got a job and some of them might still be struggling. Okay, uh, and uh, this year you guys are going to graduate. Next year, uh, your you know juniors are going to graduate. So there's a combination of almost four, five to seven crores of only potential, you know, the graduates who are looking for jobs every year. This is the re reality of India. Okay. Next is if I remove you from the list from this particular, you know, 3.66 crore, if I remove you from the list, then let me tell you, your competition becomes 3 crore, 65 lakhs, 99,999. This is your competition. And remember everybody that everyone has the same kind of degree. You guys have BMS or MMS, whatever degree you have, okay? Uh, so a lot of people have the similar kind of degree, similar kind of percentages. So there's no way that everybody is going to get a job. That's the first thing. So your competition stands out like this, okay? This is how it is. And remember, you need to stand out of the competition. You need to have certain skills extra. You need to be able to market yourself completely in a different way. Then only you'll be getting the job or else you'll not be getting Okay, so I'll be giving you two angles here. The first is the gain, the advantage of graduating this year or the coming year and the uh, pain of graduating this particular year. Okay, I'll start with the advantage here, the gain uh, angle here. Okay, according to the data, okay, uh, the fresher hiring by IT companies is so much. Okay, TCS is going to have 40,000 people. Infosys is going to have 24,000. HCL is going to have 15,000. And Wipro is going to have 12,000. This is the top four IT companies in India. Okay, so uh, remember that, you know, there are a lot of vacancies. People are hiring, okay? There's no, uh, you know, they're not like, you know, we're not going to hire. Okay, that's the first thing. So according to the India Skills Report 2021, these are the industries which are hiring the most. I think you guys fall under, you know, BFSI. Okay, but the, high, the most uh, industry, the uh, top industry which is hiring the most is Pharma and healthcare, 37%, uh, you know, uh, that's a range here they are hiring for their, you know, industries. There's logistics, okay, then there's BFSI and all that. So in, even in BFSI, even in your, you know, segment, there'll be sub uh, domains. So you're going to be very, very absolutely clear here that which is the stream, which is the position I'm going to apply for. Till then, uh, uh, you know, there's no point in just going and attending interviews. You're just going to uh, lose out on opportunities, okay? The more you are clear about yourself, okay, this is what I want, this is where I want to go, then you'll have that confidence and you'll go there and crack that interview. That's the first thing, okay? Next, uh, this is the salary range here, 2.6 lakhs and above, but we know that 3.5 and 4 lakhs is the average these days. Next is 47% of the employers expressed a positive hiring intent for this particular year. So there's no, you know, uh, even recruiters are saying we are going to hire you guys. Okay, next, this is the advantage. So you are in a pretty good position, you know, graduating this year. But there's also a pain, a little bit of disadvantage graduating this uh, particular year. Okay, the first and the foremost important thing here is the top challenges faced by the fresh graduates. Okay, as you can see here, everything which I'm talking is according to the data, no made up stories. Okay, so finding a job is the most uh, difficult or the most uh, difficult challenge, which is, uh, you know, faced by the fresh graduates, 76%, 76%. These are, uh, you know, the moment you go out of, out of 100% fresh graduates, 75 to 76% graduates face it difficult to get their jobs. Okay. Uh, that's that's a uh, that's very uh, you know hard to know here because you guys come under this category that should not happen to you. The next thing here is forty percent of the students remain invisible in front of the recruiters. Okay, I'll repeat this: forty percent of the students remain invisible to the recruiters. So my question to you is: Are you visible in front of the white recruiters? That's the question you got to ask yourself. If not, you got to be more visible in front of the recruiters. Okay. Next is. 50%, 50% of the students lose out on core jobs such as, okay, uh, those in finance, marketing, and HR, since they fall weak in theoretical and conceptual knowledge of their domain. What do I mean by this? 
that means if you are going for an interview agar aap interview ja rahe ho then you got to make sure that at least you prepare two three subjects your favorite subjects then go to the interview just don't go uh, you know blind eye you know okay let me crack this interview i'm confident and all that no preparation plays a very very important role so my uh, next suggestion to you here will be go to your syllabus copy figure out all the semester uh, subjects which you have studied and list out at least five to- you know five favorite subjects of yours and rebrush your skills so that in an interview when they ask you which are your favorite subjects and the moment you say okay you know uh, investments or whatever it is then they will ask you questions on those subjects only so it's is using the psychology that you know uh, you can say this is my subject and they will ask you that question so be prepared okay this is what i wanted to share and next is over 1 crore indians were jobless in the month of may okay i have not yet received the data uh, for last month but uh, this data was just one and a half months before and as you can see here over oh, 1 crore indians were jobless in the month of may okay and remember these are not just freshers okay these are not fresh graduates these are working professionals so just imagine the number of people who are looking for jobs in the indian industry okay uh, i mean you guys are graduating there are you know students and graduates who graduated last year and there are a lot of people who are not having jobs these days imagine the number of people trying to find some or the other job okay so you should uh, you should not fall into that category that's why i'm asking you to get placed uh, you know uh, before you go out of the college that's the first and the foremost important thing okay so what did you learn from this particular session everybody uh, just put in the chat section what did you learn from this particular session put in the chat section what did you learn from this particular section let me just uh, you know uh, this was the first secret which i wanted to share with you what did you learn from this particular section put in the chat section go ahead and put in the chat section what did you learn what is the okay purva is saying be prepared yes of course you got to be prepared yes purva next is anjali is saying be prepared and have extra skills yes of course okay brilliant uh, anjali who else who else what did you learn there are almost 70 people here and i want to know what did you learn at least one take away let me let me read the chat section here okay i'll be looking into the chat section i could see purva anjali who else who else what do you learn everybody okay samir is saying we should clear our fundamentals before appearing for the interview yes okay brilliant point here samir okay who else what else did you learn what else did you learn ashish is saying there are opportunities there we need to know how to grab them brilliant point ashish okay next is amit shah here about the competition how to be different from others yes standard of the competition next is shruti shruti is saying current statistics of 2021 which will help us to be prepared in 2022 yes okay next is ruchita preparation is extremely important yes uh next is jiga is saying giving more than 100% during campus placements absolutely jiga okay rucha is saying make clear where you want to go yes be absolutely clear okay it's not like you know i'll go here and there and everywhere you could be clear on this is where exactly you want to go brilliant point rucha next is darshan is saying visible for recruiters yes increase your visibility okay now okay all right so this was the first secret which i wanted to share with you guys now do you want the second secret of job, job hunting skills do you want to learn more Do you want the second secret? Put in the chat section yes or no. Do you want the second secret of the job hunting skills? Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. Ria is saying yes, and uh, Chai is saying yes. Duthi is saying yes. Sanjana is saying yes. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay. So I'll be sharing the uh, you know the second secret for you guys here, and uh, let me just get started here with you guys. Okay. So I'll be sharing the second secret with you. Let me just. Uh, open my ppt again and here you go okay so the second secret is uh, called the job search strategy okay and this job search strategy is nothing but let me tell you this just imagine okay if you are called for a war okay if you are called for a war tomorrow okay just imagine you have to go uh, 
uh, you know, uh, for a Kargil Ka- war kind of stuff from the government of India, uh, we got a draft that's saying that, you know, uh, you, me, everyone who is, you know, below 35 or 30 should go for the uh, war and, you know, uh, fight against the enemies. What do you think will happen? What do you think will happen uh, uh, if we go for the war tomorrow? If me, you, everybody here, uh, if we go for the war here tomorrow, what do you think will happen? Are we going to win the war or how is it? Are we going to win the war or, you know, uh, you know, uh, just imagine this, all of us, you, me and everyone have been called for a, a, you know, a war tomorrow. Are we going to go ahead and win that war? It depends on how we fight. Yes. Uh, Durvesh, who else? What is your point of view, everybody? What do you think? Are we going to, you know, uh, all of us, are we going to go and win the war? Purva is saying we'll give our best in the war. Yes. Anjali is saying no. Okay. Uh, we are saying we might lose. Yes. Who else? Who else? What is your point of view? Give me everybody. Give me uh, what is your point of view? It totally depends on how well we are trained. Brilliant, Ruchita. Brilliant. Okay. Let me tell you this. This point is the most important thing here. Okay. That uh, we can go tomorrow for a war, but if we don't know how to hold a rifle, okay, if we don't know how, uh, if we, if our arms or shoulders are strong to hold a rifle, or if you are ready for combat training or, you know, uh, for combat, then there's no point. We're just going to go hold the gun and shoot everywhere or anywhere. Okay. That is going to create much more chaos. Okay. Everywhere we're going to just shoot. And finally, we're going to lose out on bullets also. And then finally, the enemy comes in and he's going to hit us and we are going to die. We are going to die. That's what is going to happen. That's the reality. No matter how much optimistic you are, that's the reality. Okay. Similarly, just imagine if you go for a war today, uh, but if we had a strategy, okay, uh, in three months, we'll go for a war or in one month or in 30 days, we go for a war and you have certain kind of plan. Okay. This is what I'm going to work on. This is what I'm good at. Okay. This is the place where I'm going to good at, you know, I'm going to be having these kind of weapons with me. These are the tools, techniques with me. If we have a complete good strategy with us and we go for the war, the, the chances of you winning that war increases. Yes or no, everybody? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. The chances of you winning that war increases. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> Okay, uh, Ajinkya is saying, yes, we'll kill it. Yes, of course. But similarly, let me tell you one important thing here. Same analogy I can apply to you guys right now. Okay, just imagine war is nothing but getting a job. Okay, you might just go tomorrow for an interview. You will just go for an interview tomorrow, but you're not prepared. You don't have the tools or techniques how to win that game, win the war, win the job. Then what is the point? You will just go for the interview and you will try your best, you know, shoot everywhere, any, any angle. Then because you're not prepared, you might lose out. That's what happens with us. Okay. It has happened with me also during my college days. That's the reason I'm telling you, you need not like, you know, you should not go unprepared. You need to have certain kind of job search strategy right from your resume right from your LinkedIn profile, like right from how you sit in an interview, all these things matter. Okay. So let me tell you one important thing here that your strategy from now, if you are graduating in next, next three months, then you just have 90 days. That's it. 90 days. That's it. After 90 days, uh, you have to go for a bigger war. Okay. Uh, so in next 90 days, it's just within the campus. But if you don't win in this 90 days, then you have to go for a bigger war. You have to go for a world war or, a, you know, a, a, you know, job hunting war there. Okay. So that's why I'm telling you that you need to have a particular strategy. Now I'll be sharing what kind of strategies uh, you need to have. Okay. So let me just uh, start sharing the screen with you guys here. And uh, okay. So 
All right. So as I said before, you need to have certain kind of strategy here and I'll be sharing you one strategy so that you can understand how recruiters, the enemies, or you, let's just say, you know, uh, the other, uh, you know, party, how they are hiring people. Okay. Let me tell you this. Okay. One uh, secret all of this job search strategy, which, which I'll be sharing with you guys here is this, the current scenario in the age of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Okay. Remember everybody that uh, for one job vacancy, they receive at least thousand resumes, thousand resumes. Okay. You know, the population now, you know, the number of people hunting for a job. So for one vacancy, they receive a pile of resumes. Okay. So uh, just one vacancy, thousand resumes. Do you think, do you think the recruiters have time to go through each and every resume, each and every candidate's resume? Put it in the chat section, yes or no? Do you think the recruiters have time to go through all these resumes? Okay, no, right? So let me tell you this. What uh, recruiters are doing here is this. The first and the foremost important thing the recruiters do here is they usually, uh, instead of going through all the resumes here, they just take this resume and they put it in a software. They put it in the software and uh, the software scans your resume. Okay. Only if the keywords like the technical keywords are mentioned in the resume, then this resume passes is will be passed to the recruiter or else this resume goes straight into the dustbin. Okay. And that's why a lot of people uh, complain in knockery.com and monsterjobs.com that I have sent resumes to every company, but I'm not getting an interview call. It's like shooting bullets everywhere because you don't know how to, you know, how to hold the rifle and what kind of, you know, tools you have. So remember that your resume is the first thing which is being scanned. It's not you. It's not the interview. They'll not look at your face. They look at your resume first. And if your resume is not technically sound, they will never see you. That means they'll never call you for an interview. So that's why uh, recruiters are using machine learning in this particular scenario. Okay. And AI these days. So, as I said before, uh, automated resume screening. That's what happens. Okay. Next is they source the candidates, not just from your college, from uh, colleges across India and also through LinkedIn and also to, through different various channels to get the best candidates for them. They don't want any candidate for them. They want the best, the best candidate, which fits the job role. Okay. So you got to make sure you are the best. You got to present yourself that you are the best. Okay. Next is they also do background checks these days through, you know, uh, AI and candidate assessment. See earlier you used to go uh, for placements, uh, used to sit in an auditorium or a, you know, hall, seven hour hall uh, everywhere and used to give uh, live exams, right? Live aptitude test and GD and all that. But these days the assessments are taking over online. Okay. So even if you're copying, they easily get to know just by your, you know, uh, by your eye movement, even if you look like that, that's it. They believe that you're copied. Okay. Next is recruiter ch chatbots that earlier the, you know, recruiters used to call you guys. Okay. You've been selected, not selected all these things, but now at the moment they feed your name, the chatbot takes the control and the chatbot only uh, brings you or onboards you through different uh, channels. Okay. That's how it happens. So this less of human interaction. That's the second thing. Okay. Next is finally the digital interviews here. And digital interviews are nothing but earlier used to go face to face for an interview because of COVID right now, because of pandemic, uh, we are giving, you know, uh, online interviews. Okay. Virtual interviews. And I'm not sure that, you know, next six months are also going to, you know, some of the recruiters might come, some of the recruiters might not come. Okay. So that's why you got to be camera conscious. That means you need to practice in front of a camera. Okay. And uh, last week itself, I worked with a, you know, a HR recruiter who uses technology and he showed me, this is how I do Ashwak. Okay. What he does is they have a particular software. And when the candidate is speaking in front of the camera, the camera, the software itself analyzes certain data points on the, uh, on particular, uh, on the face of the candidate. And because of the certain data points, because of your expression, because of your confidence and your voice and all that, the screen, the software automatically in front of his screen shows, okay, he's not confident. He's 
only 57% confident, anxious, 60%, confused, so, so and so forth. It brings the entire list like that. Just by, you know, just by observing you speak in front of the camera. So you got to be ready uh, in front of the camera to give an interview. Absolutely clear. Okay. That's the uh, most important thing here. So this is a strategy which they are using. You need to be ready for it. Only then you will win this or else uh, you're just going to struggle and you know the competition. Okay. And let me tell you how your resume looks like. Uh, just imagine you sent your resume to a recruiter. They won't scan. They won't read first. They put in a software, software uh, that is application tracking system. And for them, the resume looks like this. No matter what font you put, no matter what color, how many tables you put, for them, the resume looks like this for the software. This is how the resume looks. As you can see here, this resume was for a digital marketing student. And uh, you can see the keywords here, digital marketing. He had built the resume like that, okay? Not like, you know, just because you are a digital marketing candidate, it will come up like that. But he had built the resume like that, okay? Strategy, market, uh, customer, global results, campaign, brand, and all that. This is how the ATS looks at your resume, okay? So uh, this is what I wanted to share with you now. Do you have any questions still now? Do you have any questions still now? Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, you can put it in the chat section or you can unmute yourself. Ashwak, I have a question. Yes. Uh, as you are mentioning that resume plays a very key role. So uh, especially when in B schools, we basically ask students to create their master resume. So would you like to say that every student should customize their resume as per the requirement of a job? Yes, ma'am. Every student should customize and for every job vacancy. It's not like ek bar bana diya and khatam. No. Uh, you have to customize. Every student has to customize the resume according to the job description you receive. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so any other questions from the students? Okay, okay. Uh, then let me take a survey with you right now. Let me just uh, take a small survey with you guys and then we'll proceed ahead. See, I just given you two strategies still now. I have the third important strategy. Okay, so I'll be just uh, giving you, uh, you know, a, a, you know, uh, a survey. Go ahead and fill that survey right now. Yeah, to all the students, go ahead and fill that survey right now. And uh, I'll be sharing this survey results right in front of you. So go ahead and do it. I'll give you 30 seconds. Go ahead and do it, everybody. And I can see how many people are taking the survey, okay? So go ahead and uh, take the survey immediately. Give you exactly 30 seconds. And let me see how many people have taken the survey here. Okay, I'm waiting. I'll be sharing the screen with you guys. So make sure you take the survey immediately. Okay. All right, brilliant. I could see a lot of responses here. Nishad. Uh, and uh, Praneet, Ruchita, Sami, a uh, uh, lot of people are taking the survey. Manasi, okay. All right, all right. Shruti, Aniket, Anjali, Tushar. Brilliant, brilliant. Make it fast, everybody. Uh, I'll make sure that, you know, I'll show you the screen also so that you guys understand why exactly this survey plays a very important role right now. Okay. So go ahead and do it. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, you can always ask me in the chat section or you can unmute yourself. Till now, if you have any questions, you can unmute yourself and speak about it. Okay. 
Okay, brilliant. So I got almost 30 responses. Ria, Piyush, Ajinkya, Aniket, Tushar, Preeti, uh, what else? Well, Darshana, Nitin, Yash, Sumit. Okay, Jay, Shreyas, Shrutik, uh, Shrutik. Okay, brilliant. Tushar, make it fast, everybody. I'll be sharing the screen with you guys immediately. Okay, okay, let me just see how many people. 40 people have taken the survey. I just need a couple of more people and then I'll be sharing the screen with you guys immediately. Okay, uh, make it fast, make it fast. Let me just open the survey for you guys. Okay. Okay, I got 43. I'm just waiting for seven more. Once we touch 50, I'll be sharing the screen here with you guys. Okay, make it fast. Okay, make it fast. Some more, make it fast, just uh, four more people. Finish the survey and then I'll take you forward from here. Okay, uh, so meanwhile, you guys are, you know, uh, filling the form. Let me just start sharing the screen with you guys. Okay, so let me just start sharing the screen here. Okay, uh, can you see my Google form here? Can you see the response? Can Yes, sir. All right. Brilliant, yes, sir. brilliant. So as you can see, thank you. Thank you very much. So as you can see here, I have asked certain questions here. Okay. Uh, the question here is uh, this. Uh, okay. Which degree are you from? So MMS, so many people. And, uh, you know, yeah, uh, BMS one or which year are you in? Uh, you are in the first year. That's what you clicked. What is your next step after graduation? You, so many people want to go ahead and get a job. Did you attain soft skills training? Yes, that's what you're mentioning here. Are you clear on top five to six skills which you're good at? So it's a 50, 50, 50% 50 of the students are saying yes, 50 are saying no. Next is, do you have a resume ready? So many people are saying yes, and so many people are saying no. Is your resume ready to beat the application tracking system? Uh, so almost, 70 to 80 percent 80 percent of the students are saying no uh, so i just told you what you know uh, application tracking system so uh, 70 80 percent of the people are saying no my resume is not ready to beat the application tracking system next is do you have a linkedin profile yes 97 percent are saying yes brilliant brilliant is your linkedin profile optimized for recruiter to have a look at your profile and call you for an interview and it's a 50-50 answer, very diplomatic answer here. If I called you for an interview today, right now, okay, just after this webinar, if I called you for an interview at 8 o'clock, what is the possibility of you cracking that interview and getting that job? And here, okay. All right, so here, no one is saying 100%. Okay, there's no one who's saying I'm 100% confident to go ahead and get a job. Okay, so just, uh, you know, this is more like a confidence parameter here, which I had put in front of you guys. And only, only uh, almost 30% people are saying 75% ready. So 100% people, there's no, not even a single person here. So you could understand right now that why that you need to be confident and you, why you need to be ready to go ahead and campus placed because nobody's ready. Just imagine if you are ready. Okay, so this is one strategy. Uh, this is one thing which uh, I wanted to show to you guys that, you know, nobody is ready. Just imagine if you are ready, if you are, uh, you know, if you are there and when the opportunity is passing by, you are ready to grab it. But 
if you are someone okay opportunity is passing by there are companies coming in and you are like attending but not taking it seriously attending not taking it seriously then you lose out on opportunities okay so you you be the person who is 100% confident to go ahead and attend an interview and get that job of yours okay uh, why why did you study from uh, you know your kindergarten till now why did you go to school why did you go to college why did you uh, study day and night to crack those exams why why did you finish the project all because you wanted to go ahead and get a job and if you're not 100% confident right now to go ahead and get a job when are you going to be confident that is a question okay you got to ask yourself this question because uh, there was no one who was uh, guiding me at that part of time so i'm here to tell you you need to be 100% ready okay that's a, a second secret which i wanted to share with you guys that uh, you know the confidence plays a very important role and the job search strategy so did you enjoy the second secret did you enjoy the second secret are you learning lot are you learning lot here there's so much information put in the chat section yes or no brilliant brilliant okay so if you guys are learning lot i hope you are making a lot of notes because you need to beat you need to take small small things you know it's not like uh, big things you need to make a difference in it choti choti cheeze in these are the things which make a lot of difference okay whether in any angle in in, uh, in you know in your uh, in your exams or in the placement campus okay so make sure that you know small small things which you are just observed right now make a note of it so that you are prepared for the upcoming interviews okay so these are the two strategies which i wanted to share with you now are you ready for the third strategy are you ready for the third strategy yes okay okay brilliant if you are ready for the third strategy let me tell you right now let me start showing the third strategy but what i do here is i do something called as you know i usually refer a lot of people for job vacancies here uh, you know uh, for you guys uh, you are from from a different kind of you know uh, domain altogether that is you are from management studies and all that so uh, you, you know i usually have all india whatsapp group where a lot of vacancies which i get directly from the recruiters i pass it to uh, you know uh, my students or you know people in my group or you know through ch various channels so do you want to be the part, uh, do you want to be part of a whatsapp group yes if you want a part of whatsapp group then i'll be sharing that group link to you or else it's okay okay so uh, do you want to be part of the whatsapp group where i could refer you guys or uh, give uh, show you a lot of vacancies if i get a lot of vacancies in uh, especially in your domains yes okay brilliant 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 so i'm just putting the uh, whatsapp group link here you can just go ahead and join the group and once in a week at least two or three vacancies i'll be posting there and these are the vacancies which are you know legit that means i say you know it's not like some fake thing it is a legit directly from the recruiter okay so there you go everybody i've just uh, put the whatsapp group uh, link there you can go ahead and join the whatsapp group and my team is managing that whatsapp group so once in a week uh, uh, two or three vacancies will be put up okay so that's uh, the second thing which i wanted to share with you this is to make sure that you stay connected at the same time you get lot of vacancies or anything any questions you can ask okay that's the thing which i wanted to share next i'll be sharing with you the third secret here okay the third secret remember i told you i'm going to be giving you three important secrets here the first secret the second secret i given you and finally the third secret okay the third secret is this let me just open it up okay uh let me just open my ppt and we'll get started okay so as you can see here you know uh, i just uh, you know go for, go to the third secret the third secret is something called as the importance of linkedin i know that all of you guys have linkedin account okay i agree with that but is your linkedin profile optimized to, for a recruiter to call you for an interview and the answer was 50 50 okay let me just show it to you why linkedin plays a very important role okay 89% of the recruiters have hired someone through linkedin and so many people have found the jobs through linkedin okay next is as i told before that 40% of the students remain invisible in front of the recruiters this platform can increase your visibility in front of the recruiters next is 
94% of the recruiters use or plan to use social media for recruiting and if 94% of the people recruiters are in social media or in linkedin to go, you know uh, for recruiting where should you be put in the chat section where should you be if 94% of the recruiters are in social media hiring through social media channels where should you be put in the chat section brilliant brilliant okay uh, social media it is okay now i'll be sharing the next important thing your linkedin account becomes the best platform to promote yourself as a professional okay and you can key in your achievements remember everybody uh, look at this this is the most important thing here which i'm going to be sharing with you in your resume it's only words okay and our psychology is such that if the words or the sentences or anything is not inspiring or curious for the first 2 3 minutes or the first half of the section we don't read the next uh, part of the resume okay but here in linkedin profile okay you can key in your achievements your job experience and your topics which in interests you and it can be used as a platform to advertise your skills build your credibility as a professional and increase your visibility what do i mean by that you can influence a recruiter to come to your you know linkedin profile and remember this uh, in the as the saying goes jo dikhta hai wo bikta hai i'll repeat this jo dikhta hai wo bikta hai so the more you show them okay these are the certificates you receive these are the awards this is my youtube channel this is what i'm you know uh, all these things you can show it in your linkedin account but you cannot show it in a resume you can just mention in resume but in linkedin account you can show it if they see it they believe it okay the more they see it they believe in you and that's when you get the opportunity okay uh, so this is one platform which can help you increase your visibility to the core okay that's why you need to have an account and optimize your account okay i'll just show you this video and then we'll uh, go for the next okay just have a look at this video I have purposely paused this video why let me tell you look at this the recruiters can go ahead just by go to your profile and they can export or extract the data from your profile and put it into their application tracking system okay so linkedin has become more like a digital resume for you guys these days okay it has become a digital resume that's why your presence plays a very important role in linkedin they don't even need your resume these days but very important to build a resume but whatever you put in resume you can put in the linkedin profile and you can put a link of your linkedin profile and influence a recruiter anyways virtual interviews are happening so it's very easy to click and push the recruiter push the interviewer to see your linkedin profile use that psychology okay so uh, you know they can literally i just need your name i just need your name to check and extract your profile from linkedin it has become so easy these days okay so this is what i wanted to share with you let me go for the next here okay uh, i just wanted to ask here what did you learn from this particular secret what did you learn from this secret put in the chat section put in the chat section what did you learn from this particular secret okay uh the video was uh, there was no voice it's okay but i hope you are able to see the screen what did you learn th from this particular uh, section what did you learn importance of adding keywords in resume brilliant what else okay social presence is very important swapnil is saying yes brilliant okay shruti is saying be visible on linkedin yes uh durvesh is saying keep your linkedin profile good yes brilliant brilliant what else okay be active on linkedin okay 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 so uh 
okay, how can we use LinkedIn to get a good job to add the right keywords on your LinkedIn? Okay, brilliant, Rucheta, Misha, and uh, Dhruti, Dhruvesh, Shruti. All right, so till now, I've given you, instead of waiting appointment, use LinkedIn as your resume. Yes, of course, Ajinkya. Okay, so any uh, anything else? Anybody, anybody uh, took away something very important? Okay, so let me tell you this one important thing here. Okay, showcase all proper skills and certificates. Yes. Okay, so let me show you my LinkedIn profile and let me see your LinkedIn profile. Okay, now it's going to be an interactive session here. But before I start, you know, uh, going for the, uh, you know, the next Q&A and all that. Yes, Samir 2020 was the year of digitization. Yes, of course, these days we don't need the hard copy of your resume. Okay, so let me just go ahead and share the screen with you guys. What I want uh, from you guys is this. Let me just... Uh, show it to you okay if you guys have linkedin profile let me just show it to you here okay so there you go what i want you to do is right now i'll be giving you a different kind of solution how to be prepared for next you know uh, in just five days you can be prepared after this section that is i just want to know what did you learn from this session okay and I'll be giving you a LinkedIn post and I'll be giving you a, my Instagram post. All, I, all you have to do is just go and comment in that. So I want, I don't want the comments like, okay, it was a brilliant session, amazing session. No, I want to know what did you learn from this session? Okay. So you can give a summary like that, a small one or two lines and one or two points. So go ahead and uh, I'll just show you this thing here. So this is my Insta Instagram profile that is Coach Dora Ashfaq. I'll be giving you the link right now. I put your college name here, your, you know, your thing. And I also put it in LinkedIn. Okay. So I want you to go to this particular LinkedIn thing here. First go to LinkedIn. Okay. LinkedIn plays a very important role. I said before, so go to LinkedIn. I'll be sharing the LinkedIn thing. And after you give your review or after you sh tell me, what did you learn from that particular, this particular session, I'll be showing you certain, uh, you know, what is the solution? What is the solution and how to stand out? Uh, out, of, out of all this competition okay so this is the linkedin prof uh, pro link here you can go ahead and click on that link to directly go to that uh you know that post and you can uh you know comment in the you know uh chat you know put in the chat section what exactly you learned from this session go ahead and put it and the moment you put it copy paste it as you may and uh, copy paste that uh, you know that comment and go and put in the insta as well after this, I'll be giving you uh, the solution for all this. I'll be giving you a particular solution. In five days, you can be ready to stand out of the competition. Okay, five days. So I'll be giving you what you should do individually five days for, for, for five days. Say so you're on mute. Okay. Uh, thank you, Pratik. So uh, I had given you the LinkedIn till now, and now I'm giving you the Insta link. So just copy paste the you know uh, the comment there, and uh, I'll be showing you my LinkedIn profile, and I'll also be showing you how in five days you can change the entire game for yourself. Okay. So just in 10 minutes, I'll be showing you the entire five days, how to be ready in five days. Okay. So go ahead and put in the chats, you know, in the LinkedIn section, what did you learn from this? Let me see how many people are commenting here. 
and uh, okay 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 let me see how many people are commenting and then we'll go for you know in just five uh, ten minutes i'll be putting in you guys with the solution five days okay so i want to comment here i want to comment what did you learn not just liking it okay liking is not going to happen here i want to know what did you learn from it okay that plays a very important role this is more like a feedback for me as well what did you take away from this particular session okay so go ahead and put it in the comment section what did you learn from this i want i want you guys to comment on it okay not just like no liking here okay all right i could see uh, uh you know uh, mahesh i could see dhanika in insta i could see other people here i'm tushar and all those people okay uh let me just see how many people are here okay uh, the first comment is from ruchita the session was amazing uh, my major takeaway from the session was how preparation plays a major role and how it is important to stand out from the crowd brilliant comment uh, ruchita thank you very much who else what else uh, did you learn everybody so this uh, plays a very important role because you need to be active on linkedin and this is how you be active on linkedin you got to keep on uh, you know uh, making sure that uh, you are you know this is a comment as you can see here okay so go ahead and tell me what did you learn from this particular session and i'll be giving you a solution for 5 days in 5 days how you should be ready okay sumit the this session helped to learn to stand out in the competition brilliant sumit okay uh richita brilliant anjali saying had great session today learned a lo lot few things are so much and riya is saying so, like that and uh, kavita ma'am is saying uh, the current industry trend and the changes in resume as uh, pre requirements it's a very uh, ice breaking session brilliant okay uh, so thank you very much as i said before that i'll be sharing with you guys five days in 5 days how you should be ready for any job interview or for any particular you know opportunity in front of you guys i'll be sharing the ppt with you guys right now okay let me just share the ppt with you okay 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 so uh <clears throat> do you guys want to know how to stand out of the competition do you want to know how to stand out of the competition if yes put in the chat section do you want to know the solution for this do you want to know the solution for this yes okay so many people and you need to beat the competition that then i'll be sharing the secret yes okay if that's the case let me uh, start sharing the screen with you guys immediately okay uh, let me just go to the screen here and now okay so let me just uh, okay so this is the linkedin thing which i showed before the solution is this you just need 5 days not like so many days but 5 days but focused 5 days for a proper launch okay uh, i'll not talk about this uh, right now about my workshop and all but i'll tell you how to be uh, how you guys can be prepared okay uh, okay five career changing days uh, this i'm doing some workshop the first day what you got to do here is this day one you got to sit and figure out what where exactly do you want to go okay you see for example one of my students in the workshop uh, they come up with something called as a career clarity table and they will be absolutely clear what they want to become a position not like koi bhi job aayega and i'll be koi bhi company aayegi and i'll go and attend the interview not like that she wanted to be a software developer she is very focused and she want to get in uh, out of these four companies only okay accenture tcs infosys and cognizant who could get her an interview hr manager placement officer job sites okay absolute clarity so even if a company comes okay i want to hire for testing this girl tanuja will not go for that particular campus placement because it's just waste of time for her and for the you know the placement um, you know uh, officer and the company also so you might just go for an interview but if you don't go for an opportunity after you get the interview after you get selected then it's a it's not good for you or the college or for the placement officer or for the company so it's a uh, you know loss loss everywhere you create a win win by being absolutely clear where exactly you want to go that's the first day second day is something called as the hiring funnel as you know <coughs> 
as you know the 3.66 crore students are graduating and along with you there are so many people so recruiters use something called as a hiring funnel they have certain kind of filtration process screening methods to screen you guys and pick the best candidate for themselves okay uh, so this is how they uh, filter uh, you need to understand the hiring funnel next is you need to be absolutely clear on your skills okay i can go to a war right now but if I, if my shoulder is not good will i be able to hold a rifle no okay then i to uh, i need to get into some other kind of skills okay i need to have certain other skills that's why you need to be absolutely clear which skills you are good at okay uh, you can short down uh, shortlist your top 6 subjects and what are your top 6 skills this is a bcom graduate uh, aroma she has uh, done this this is how you got to be absolutely clear on uh, your skills if you are not clear on skills there's no point attending any interview why because interviewers want to see just your skills i'll repeat this interviewers want to see your skills and if you're not clear kya what do i need to show then there's no point because you're bound for rejection okay next is uh, you need to do some uh, resume analysis you need to make sure you know you uh, scan your resume and get your thing done okay and you need to build your linkedin profile uh, to make sure that you don't have to put anywhere that you are a student this guy is from bangalore and is from an engineering college he is a uh, you know uh, he's interested in digital marketing and he's saying social media enthusiast passionate to generate leads using facebook and google ads looking to become a full time digital marketing executive he has never put he as a student he's telling looking to become a full time digital marketing executive in fact his linkedin banner is also saying like this okay dream to become a passionate digital marketer look at this absolute clarity these are the people who are going to stand out so if you are absolutely clear about yourself then you are going to stand out my friend and you're going to win this war okay so uh, this is what i wanted to share with you guys uh, and if you have any questions till now you can just uh, ask me and uh, yeah any questions till now everybody any questions uh sir uh can you sh please show the day uh, one and day see, two thing uh, once again your speaking but it's not audible uh hello i'm audible now it's not audible uh okay okay uh you guys can put in the chat section if you uh, have any questions or you can unmute yourself okay so go ahead and do it everybody you, if you have any questions you can always ask me any questions in the chat section or uh, through unmuting yourself anything will do any questions okay if you don't have any questions the last thing which i'll be showing here is the linkedin profile okay uh okay how many of you want to know at least get a review about your linkedin profile does okay this is saying sir can you show the day one and day two skills again uh day one is something called as a career uh, goal let me just tell you here uh you need to be absolutely clear on where exactly you want to go okay uh what are the companies four companies you want to work in and what is the position and who could help you get an interview that is the first day second day here is you need to be absolutely clear uh, second day here is something called as a hiring funnel you need to understand how recruiters you know uh, hire people and third is you need to be absolutely clear what are the skills you are going to mention in your resume that plays a very important role okay <clears throat> so this is i uh, uh, i hope i answered your question any other questions anybody any other questions you can unmute yourself or put in the chat section okay okay uh, all right uh, thank you any other questions if there's no questions then let me just show you one important thing and then you can take it forward from that okay so uh, where is it okay so this is my linkedin profile here 
you got to make sure your linkedin profile is absolutely absolutely you know uh, crystal clear let me just go here okay so as I, as you can see here that uh, you know all right brilliant uh, so mansi uh, you are mentioned intern at uh, bsc brokers forum uh, prateek has mentioned this anjali has mentioned this okay ria has mentioned this okay uh, anjali you got to uh, come up with a proper title and uh, ria you got to come up with what is uh, what is the future like you know what do you want to be that kind of title suits good even for mansi okay uh, even for prateek you need to figure out you need to put a proper title for yourself uh, you know not what exactly you're doing but what do you want to be okay uh, that's the thing here next any any other uh, particular thing okay okay uh, richita i think you need to change the uh, picture here why because uh, you know uh, usually in linkedin what happens is only so much the head till shoulders max that kind of picture you got to put and uh, not something which you put in instagram but you got to put something uh, professional okay uh, prateek pretty good picture with a pretty good background anjali uh, till the you know picture a little bit okay so this is what i could do for you guys uh, till now do you have any questions related to linkedin profile as you can see here you can just uh, go and uh, you know uh, click this particular thing and you can put a you know finding a new job and you can just say uh, whatever you know financial analyst or you know finance specialist or whatever you want to put okay and add title that's how you do it okay uh, make sure you guys are absolutely clear on that have a pretty good uh, skills look at this career coach helping colleges and students crack campus placements and so on and so forth okay so uh, this is what i wanted to share with uh, everybody here and one last thing which i want to share here is this there's something called the featured section here and you can present your certificates like this this is more like a certificate of appreciation which i got from garden city university and uh, uh, if you really want to read my book then you can just click on this and you will go to amazon that's how it goes the reason why i'm telling here is you can if you if you are a person who has a youtube channel or if you want to showcase your project through a video then you can put a store you can put that video in the youtube channel and give a link here and influence a recruiter to click on that link and he sees your video or your project and remember jo dikhta hai wo bikta hai so you need to make sure that you uh, show them your skills not just you know uh, tell them through resume show them your skills that's that plays a very important role okay uh, so uh, this is it from my side if you have any questions i'll take it now or else uh, i'll hand it over to uh, you know uh, kavita ma'am here okay shruti you sir, have any question sir i had a question uh, i think uh, nobody I, i mean uh, you guys are not able to unmute yourself i don't know why uh, sir we are audible i think it's uh, some problem okay, ria also you are not able to unmute yourself ria uh, i think you can sir? speak but i am not able to listen to you Sir, can you hear me? Ashwat, sir, can you hear me? Okay, it's not audible. It's not audible, uh, ma'am. Kavita, ma'am, it's not audible. I don't know why. Okay, let me see here. I have some technical issue. Okay. Okay. Uh, do check your speaker volume okay maybe because it's a, a macbook i don't know what some complications here i request students to write their questions in, yes please uh, write your questions if you have any ria is saying could you give some tips about writing profile summary okay ria uh, profile summary is something very important in the you know in the linkedin section why because you can literally tell what are your interests and where exactly you want to go and all these things so the profile summary should not be just one or two lines but it should be a pretty good uh, uh, two three paragraphs but the paragraph should be para paragraph should be maximum three uh, lines that's it nobody is going to read uh, if it is more than two or three lines so uh, cut short you know uh, cut that summary into bits and pieces and then put it in uh, you know in that particular section 
okay uh, so ria i hope i answered your question and let me tell you you can start with uh, your story like why you chose uh, bms or mms or uh, you know what is your area of interest you can start with that in between you can mention your skills again and then you can also mention your contact details there so this is, that is how you do it okay okay uh i think uh, i should go uh, like you know uh, i feel that i should uh, quit this and join again maybe because of some technical issues i'm not sure why can i quit and join again ma'am that feels better because I'm not sure why uh, i'm not able to listen to you guys okay let me just quit and come back fast in the main time to save the time students may write the question in the chat box so uh, he should be able to take the maximum question may i also request the committee to, to yes duty ma'am he won't be able to see the questions if we uh, if we write it right now he is able to see the chat box duty whatever i am writing he is reading that a uh, mom no she means ki jab when he'll come back na so all these questions won't be visible to him ha ah, main samajh gayi abhi jab bhi wo join karenge then duty you put it in the chat box yes ma'am and uh, yeah uh, first we will see if he can speak, listen to us is still that is a problem then put the question in the chat box can you hear me ashwak sir uh, but i can't hear you you have to unmute Ah, uh, now Duty, you go ahead. Ah, uh, students, please raise your question. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sir, just wanted to know that ah, uh, suppose we get a interview call, ah, uh, but for some ah uh, some reason for unknown reason, ah, uh, we are not selected. when we were confident that we might get selected uh, so what do we do in that case so uh, like uh, should we ask them for uh, explanation or something yes uh, we are in question duty let me tell you uh, if you have gone for an interview uh, the response is not uh, not in your favor favor then you you can ask uh, that time itself that you know may i know may can i get a feedback what can i do how can i do better that plays a very important role because they know they will see that okay you are a person who wants to learn more about the bm so you need to ask them uh, how can i improve on myself even now uh, so you are not audible now even now Yes, yes. Now also, <laughs> technical problem comes in the last minute. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm not audible, ma'am. So any. So your voice is very, very low, sir. Maybe you can put the settings the way I do it. Let me just see. J just go on your Google Meet, put it into the settings. Okay. Okay. It happens with me also. Okay. Uh, now I'm audible. Now I'm audible. Yes. Brilliant. Very much. Very much. Okay. We are be becoming <laughs> technology savvy here. Brilliant. <laughs> Learning, yes. sir. Today, one of my student has taught me okay. how to do the full screen presentation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay. Uh, so I was. I was. I. Uh, uh, Thinking, like I was answering this question, 
uh, very important uh, question to see let me tell you that if you go for an interview and if you're not able to get that offer then you need to make sure that you ask the recruiters can you give me a uh, feedback uh, on my interview how i did so that i can do better for my next interview that shows that you are a person who is humble at the same time learning about yourself uh, uh, they will keep that in mind and later if someone in, is not joining from your college they can call you up so make sure you ask that question okay this see okay sir thank you sir brilliant brilliant any other question Okay. Uh, any questions, or else I'll hand it over to uh, Ma'am here. Uh, sir, I have one more question. Yes. Uh, it can be a little vague, but uh, it is on top of my head, so I have to ask this. Yeah. Uh, so, like, uh, I want to pursue operations as a, a specialization after uh, in the second year of my MMS. Okay. So, like, after after operations, uh, what should I do? Like, uh, uh, like, I'll uh, Uh, I heard it from somewhere that I should uh, take a take a job offer anywhere I get, and after that proceed to actual operations. So, uh, like I I am not sure how uh, do I go forward with that. So. Okay, okay, brilliant question. Uh, let me tell you this: uh, that before uh, you need to ask yourself this question that why are you choosing operations? That's the first thing. Okay, uh, ask yourself why are you choosing operations. and do a little bit of research before choosing operations uh, why because you need to be very target specific not like ki uh, any job i'll go you need to be very specific okay this is the company i want to work for in this company i want to work in the operations role as an operations manager then you choose operations so you are uh, you know right now i don't know which year you are in maybe in the first year or second year so you need to decide right now this is the company and this is the position which i'm looking for then from there you reverse engineer okay so and apart from that there is no distraction the moment you know the end goal and the moment you know where you are there is no point of thinking okay i'll go for this job that job or any job you know the end goal this is the company this is the position you are reverse engineering the process that's it that's how career play, uh, you know you can build your career very faster and this is where lot of people in the, in india are struggling because they're not able to reverse engineer but if you reverse engineer you're going to stand out okay so uh, did i answer your question and to see yes sir thank you so much brilliant okay you. okay uh, anybody any other questions sir may i ask a question yes preeti Uh, so actually uh, i've discussed this with many people and uh, most of them have suggested that uh, when i'm uh, opting for my first job uh, after my completing my mms that i should go for mostly any job which gives me relatively uh, decent money or a uh, position so uh, like most people just say that don't keep much expectations from your first job mm -hmm. take what you can get so is it the right approach to this uh from my point of view it's a wrong approach why because uh, uh they might be too in their from their perspective why because you know the job market but from my perspective uh, it's okay if you're not in a job for one or two months but it's not okay if you get into a company and leave the company for just working for 30 days to 60 days it's not going to be good in your resume that's the first thing second thing here is uh you know uh you need to be absolutely clear uh this is the company i want to work for and hit the target okay see there might be a lot of enemies uh, like uh, how i spoke about the war here there might be a lot of uh, people lot of enemies in front of us but you cannot just keep on shooting and okay kisi kahin pe kisi ko lag jayega and uh, i'll shoot one enemy not like that you need to be very specific like a sniper okay like a person who handles a sniper he has that uh, focus and you hit that focus you know that target that's the first thing second thing here is uh, after graduation uh, you got to give a priority to two important things one is see money comes later okay i'll talk about money a little bit later 
But let me tell you this, you guys might be 22 or 23, I'm not sure what your age is. Uh, you have at least one or two years of, you know, learning. Okay. Uh, if I was given an opportunity, if I have two opportunities in front of me, one is a, you know, a pretty good uh, company and one is a startup or somewhere where I can learn a lot of things. Okay. Then if I was in your position, I would always choose a company where I could learn a lot of things. Why? Because in this company, I will learn a lot of things in one year or two years. I can jump any company with two to three X salary. But if I choose one big company in the beginning, and uh, in that company, everything is automized. There's no learning of that. You just have to follow the process. Okay. That's why uh, you need to focus on learning first. Remember, the moment you get into the market, no one is going to uh, you know, say, okay, you have done brilliant. You are you know, educated so much. Let me give you 25 lakhs per annum. No one is going to say that. Okay. They will see your skills. They, you, they will see your learning curve where what you have learned, how you can help them, or what are the skills you have, how you can help that particular position or the company, then only they're going to give the particular pay package. So first, the moment you go out of college, choose a company which gives you abundance amount of learning. Okay. And then after one year or two years, you can literally jump to bigger companies, 3x or 2x the salary. Let me guarantee you that. Provided in one or two years you're learned. Okay, this is how you have to uh, do Priti. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Any other questions? So, uh, sir, what you're saying is that uh, suppose we directly get a big company, mm -hmm. like a multinational company. So, uh, in that, uh, we'll get a less salary and uh, still not able to learn. That you're saying. Uh, the the thing here is, uh, it totally, uh, yeah, if you get an MNC and if there's learning, I'm just telling uh, two perspectives here. Let's just imagine you have two offers. Uh, one is from a MNC, one is from a startup like uh, Zometo, Ola or anything like that. And one is a, a pretty good MNC. I would, from my perspective, I would go for uh, the, the startup, which is well established. It's five to seven years in India. Okay. Uh, and uh, MNCs also give a lot of learning, but uh, it totally depends uh, what kind of stream you're going for. Is it going to be a strategy? Uh, uh, are you going applying for managerial levels or somewhere like, you know, implementation level? Are you come from the, uh, coming from the bottom of the pyramid? Are you directly landing in between as a manager or something like that, or an assistant manager? Then you can go for the MNCs. But if you are someone who is getting into an implementation more like a executive or a, or a, a analyst, then I would choose, I would ask you to choose a company uh, which gives you a lot of learning. Okay, Zipsi? Okay, sir, thank you. All right. So, any other questions? Okay, if there are no questions, I'll hand it over to uh, Kavita Man then. Okay, so uh, thank you, Ashfaq, sir. Before uh, we declare uh, the end of today's session, I request uh, my place, Koma Shruti, to propose a vote of thanks. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Shruti Pawar, and on the behalf of Alkesh Dinesh Modi Institute of Financial and Management Studies, I propose my vote of thanks to Ashfaq, sir. Uh, from the behalf of our placement officer as well, Kavita Mishra, ma'am. Uh, sir started with a very realistic sentence that the more rejections you face, the more opportunities you lose. It's very important for us as budding managers to carve out our own career. USP of this session were the three golden secrets required for job hunting, that is the current market scenario, job search strategy, and importance of LinkedIn, which clearly solved our major doubts. Sir also explained the use of artificial intelligence in the recruitment process. Indeed, we learned that we must be proactive to face competition, identify the correct opportunities, and achieve your goal. Once again, sir, I thank you for your time, and it was indeed a great learning for all of us. Thank you very much, uh, Kavita Ma'am and Shruti. Uh, brilliant. Uh, and I thank everybody here, for all the students here. Uh, so patiently you're listening to me. 
and asking me a lot of questions. Okay, kudos to you and go ahead and win that game. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, Kavita, ma'am. You are on the mute. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ma'am, you are on mute, I guess. I said thank you so much for being with us. I invited you for the first time. Even I connected with you over the LinkedIn. Yes. So I agree with you that the power of LinkedIn today, no one of us can deny on it. And I am trying to be very active on LinkedIn uh, because I believe that if I am into the job uh, hunting process for my students, it is important for me also to be in a game uh, as a future prospective employee. And accordingly, I pursue my details on LinkedIn and then I try to be relevant on it. So uh, as Shruti mentioned very nicely, we had lots of takeaway uh, with, from your session. Uh, so before we all uh, just say depart to each other, I request to have a very quick uh, group photo with Ashwag sir. Anyway, he has joined us from Bangalore. Yeah. So calling him on campus could have been a very expensive thing for us. But digitally, it is easy for me to invite you and have a quick uh, memory with all of us. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So Shruti, can you just click one group photo with uh, Ashwag sir? Yes, ma'am. I request everyone to please... Uh cameras.